To the latest now on the cross-border attack into southern Russia by anti-Putin forces who want to reclaim their country. At a news conference, they set out a modest target, the complete liberation of Russia from President Putin, saying they won't stop until they reach Moscow. These are the Russians fighting the Russians and delivering a big propaganda victory for Ukraine. That at least was the message presented, perched on top of their trophy of war. We're fighting for freedom. We're fighting against injustice. On Monday, these men drove across the border, claimed to occupy territory and captured a Russian armored car. Now back in Ukraine, the same soldier told me it was a moment of glory he'd waited years for. But they are coy about how much help they've had from Ukraine. Well, we definitely got a lot of encouragement. Did they help you? They did encourage us. Did they help you? They did encourage us. The U.S. has distanced itself from the raid. The West doesn't want its weapons used inside Russia. This is a Russian AK. I see all hands. The one okay. that we managed to get in the combat, so to say. So. And then there's the politics of the group's leader, who's been called a far-right white supremacist. Do you mind being described as a neo-Nazi? I don't. I don't think it's an insult. This war starts and all those bad neo-Nazis all of a sudden turn into what? Patriots, freedom fighters. So did anything change about us? No, everything changed about your perception. How much their operation actually helps Ukraine's cause isn't at all clear. It is an embarrassment, a distraction for the Kremlin. But it also fits Vladimir Putin's narrative that this is a war for Russia's survival. For you, where does this war finish? Your in war. Moscow? Your war. In Moscow. In Moscow, in my hometown. Mm -hmm. In war, you can't always choose your friends, but these allies may not come cost-free. John Ray, News at 10, Eastern Ukraine.